construction suck at this point and there aren't very good pictures so I'm gonna leave drilling holes in this until I get it on the oven. In the meanwhile, I'm fairly confident that these little buggers are gonna be needed again so I'm gonna put them in here where I think they're needed. I suppose if you've built this a bunch of times, you don't really need the instructions, but on the first time, either good instructions or better um, pictures would be helpful. Uh, one of the things that I've discovered, when we find that piece of crap, is this is probably on backwards. And these should have been on this side, but, you know, in the photo, it shows them on this side. It doesn't show them backwards. That pisses me off. You know, don't show me pictures of shit that I don't need to do. And in case you guys think I'm lying, there they are sitting inside the lip. And, you know, I guess if you look really closely, you can see they're reversed there. But normally, yeah, I look at it like this, and that's it. Okay, that's how it goes together. Dumbass. Yet again, we get to take this apart. two weeks, so hopefully it will come apart. Without too much fuss and hassle. This handles like American cheese. When it's warm.
Okay. That's still irritating. So I'm gonna have to drill holes down here somehow. No big deal. All right, so this calls for eight, seven thirty-second inch holes, but that's bullshit because an eighth inch is only a sixty-fourth of an inch difference, and it just makes no sense whatsoever to switch for a sixty-fourth of an inch. All right, so there's that, and then we got to do the na the boost element. Let's see what these are. Right, as best I can tell, these just kind of go about the distance of this. All right, so there's that. And then we gotta pull these two screws out. get these installed just to kind of get a little sanity to this build that and now we need to figure out how this is going to work up here <laughs> Okay, so that looks about right. A lot crazy, but it looks right. Alright, now let's see what the hell is going to hold those in place. So apparently we do not reuse the holes that used to be there. That's fine. So we're gonna drill a little bit further out. All right, so we got one in. Now let's see if this fits. 
Yes, barely. <laughs> oh, what a pain in the ass. Okay, no. While it will go through the hole, it does not fit. It needs to be the next size up. That's a little more than one size up. see if it fits yeah that's a lot better so it's okay if it's tight through the bottom of the oven um, but for the mounting plate for these it needs to not be that tight and then <laughs> we got to get this down there if this is stupid To hold it in there. Now we got to do this end. Watch your fingers when you're doing this. Make sure you don't drill into your fingers because nobody is going to like that. And don't cut yourself because remember, this thing is sharp and not in the smart way. Sharp isn't like a knife. So I'm using long nose or needle nose pliers to get down here. And if it turns sideways on you, just patiently pull it back out. we've got that in there we can switch back to this and tighten it up all right good enough Alright, so now we still got to get a hole in here. Let me see where these go. For a 732 inch hole down here. So that's pretty much where we're going to go. Alright. And then it needs to be deburred, so we'll come in with this. And we're going to deburr these while we're at it.
Alright, so, got that in. I think you guys want to see this, so we're going to feed these wires through here. Then through this hole that we just made. the boost element it just kind of sits in there um, so that's that's fine that's how it should be and now we need a hole for the thermocouple. so let's see where that goes all right so the thermocouple hole goes here it's a 316 